Everybody, it's the War Hipster here, coming at you with another Contrast Plus painting tutorial for Warhammer 40,000. And this time we are venturing into the nightmare of Kill Team years. We have the Nemesis Claw Night Lords. Here they are. They're fantastic. They're really lovely little models, these ones. And we're going to be painting them up today as Night Lords, of course. So, first bit of admin, they've all been primed in grace here. And, well, we're probably going to be focusing mostly on the sergeant thing. He's got a proper name, but I can't remember what it is. But when stuff comes up, we shall, of course, point it out. Stuff like the banner, for example, over there. So, we're going to grab our brushes, grab our paints, and we'll be right back in just a second. So, the colour we're going to be using first is Storm Fiend. And we're going to be applying this over the top of all of the blue armor but we're not just going to do a single coat of it we are in fact going to do two coats of storm fiend you don't have to worry too much about being deadly accurate avoiding any of the trim because that's all going to be a metallic so it's okay. But we do follow the usual rules for painting miniatures in the contrast plus style. And then we take it a section at a time. as I'm doing here. With our first coat of Storm Fiend applied, we're then going to apply the second. So with our two layers of Storm Fiend applied, we're then going to take some Black Legion and we're going to apply this over top of all the black details. So this is going to include the kind of soft joints in the armor, the casings of any weapons. So with all that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take some Saigor Brown and we're going to apply this over the top of 
and he loves the details. So with that all done, we're now going to take some Gilliman flesh and we're going to apply this over the top of any skin. So this is going to include some of their tabards. You don't have to do all of them, you can just do some. But we are going to do it over this guy's tabard. He's important, you see. So got the cloak. With all that Gilliman flesh applied, including over things like the banner, what we're going to do is we're going to take some Blood Angels Red. And we're going to apply this over the top of the remaining fabrics, such as this guy's tabard. And we're also going to apply this over the top of the bat wings on the Night Lord's logo. On their shoulders. With that all done, the cloak should now be dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to add that variation in. The colour we're going to be using first is some Wildwood. I'm just going to apply this over this part of the patchwork. With that wildwood applied, we then take some Berserker Bloodshade and we apply this over this kind of patchwork area. With that all done, we're then going to take some Magma Droth Flame. We're going to apply this over top of anything you want to glow, such as Eyes of Horus or Plasma. Like this. With that then done, we take some Skeleton Horde. And we apply this over any bones. So with that all done, we're now going to work on possibly the most tedious part of any Chaos Space Marine, which is of course all the trim and decoration. So the colour we're going to be using for this is some thinned down Rune Lord Brass. And we're going to be applying this, like I said, over top of any trim, decorative details on weapons. As well as any other details, you want to be a little bit more fancy. We're then going to take some thinned down iron warriors 
I'm going to apply this over top of all of the remaining details. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, on our Night Lords. So, it's time to add some shades. And the first of these is going to be some Tyran Blue. I'm going to use this over the top of the blue armour. So with all that Tyran blue applied, we're then going to take some Agrax Earthshade. I'm going to use this to shade the silver. And the brass. So with that then done, uniquely to this guy, we're going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. I'm going to use this to shade the entirety of his skin cloak. And this will just tie all the skin together. And with that Reichland Flesh Shade applied, we then take a little bit of Nuln Oil. We apply this over the White Skulls of the Night Lords logos. Like that. So with those shades all applied, our Night Lords, or Nemesis Claw Kill Team, is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. As you can see just here. Let me just give it a little bit of a focusy focusy. There we go. So it's looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave them there. Of course not. We're going to take them to the next level. And we're going to do this by adding some highlights. So what we're going to do first is we're just going to move these guys out of the way. And we are going to start with the one that's going to take the longest amount of time to do which is all of the brass. I appear to have gained a paintbrush friend to my wrist. Look, there we go. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down canoptic alloy and we're going to use this to highlight all of that brass. Now, as I mentioned, this is probably going to take the longest time. So just take your time here. And once that's done, they'll look fantastic.
So with all of that Canoptec alloy applied, as you can see, <laughs> the model looks like a thousand times better. So what we're going to do now is going to move on to the next metallic, which is going to be some thinned down iron breaker. I'm going to use this to highlight all the silver. So with all metallics highlighted, what we're then going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Fire Dragon Bright. We're going to apply this over the eye lenses and any red details. With that Fire Dragon Bright all applied, we then take a tiny amount of Blood Angels Red. We apply this over the eye lenses. So with that all done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Dawnstone. I'm going to use this to highlight any of the black details. We don't need to worry about any of the joints or anything like that. We just need to pick out kind of areas like casings on weapons and indeed this gentleman's hair. So next up, we're then going to take some blood for the blood god. And what we're going to do is we're going to wipe most of it off. I'm doing this on my thumb, but could use a piece of paper. And uh, we're going to add some little blood spatters in the cape. If you want to, if you really take most of it off, what you can actually do, you can apply this over most of the skin. It gives it that kind of just very wet look. by stippling it like this. You can go as much or as little as you like. You can even do things like not take most of it off, just take some of it off and just give little dabs here and there. So with that all done, there is just one last thing left to do, which is the blue. However, it's not as simple as just doing edge highlights. Of course not, these are the Night Lords. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some thinned down techless blue. I'm going to use this to highlight everything, but what we're also going to do is I'm going to pick out some panels to do some lightning on. I'm going to apply this. As an example, just here over this elbow plate, like that. However, you can pick out things like knee pads or wrists or even the kind of like the knee, uh, shins and things like that. What you want to do, take a tiny little bit of the techless blue. Just run these jagged lines
like that over the panel. So with that then done, we're going to finish things off by taking some thin down blue horror. And anywhere where you've done a little bit of lightning, you want to add these little dots of the blue horror, where any of your lightning lines intersect with each other. So with our bases all complete, that means our Nemesis Claw Night Lord's kill team is now all finished. And, well, they're like most other Chaos Space Marines we've done in the past, like the Berserkers for example. They're very, very cool. They're very, very chaotic and there's a hell of a lot of trim. But once you get past the trim, they look pretty cool. I'm really pleased with these and I think I got that blue absolutely spot on. Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so by heading to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like all of these wonderful, amazing people have done. And alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button below, exactly like these fabulous folks have done scrolling up on the screen before you. There are so many of you out there that it really takes my breath away and I cannot thank you enough for everything you do, as without you, I wouldn't be able to keep making these Contrast Plus videos. And if you really like this video and you want to send me a little thanks, just click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.